Hi, hi there, my invisible audience. This is Natalia Aranzoa, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to match skin tones in Photoshop. And by the way, I'm planning to create a series of video tutorials on portrait retouching. So if you would like to receive notifications, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. That will motivate me to make more, more and more useful tutorials for you. So let's begin. We begin with one of my images uh, where I can see vividly that my <clears throat> skin tones and even saturation and the brightness of the face is different from their um, from her body, from the mother's body. It often happens due to various reasons. Uh, one of them can be a wrong selection of uh, foundation of makeup. Um, sometimes it's uh, different in color, different in um, tones, or it can be uh, because of the light, the way light falls. In my case, I think uh, the hair, the hair abstracted slightly from from the light and um, I think this is the reason uh, less light fell on her face. Anyway, we are going to fix it in one of the simplest way. So for the beginning we will create a background copy and uh, now we are going to go to select color range. The color range, the agenda in color range is to actually select the area of the image which uh, we want to change. In my case, it is face. It can be um, it can be background in your case, or maybe it's uh, just a shoulder, or it's uh, it's the entire chest area. So in my case, it is a face, and with the dropper I'm just clicking on the face so it becomes nice and white and now I'm going to um, give it a appropriate range so something around the model's face because I don't want this area whatever is black right now is not going to be affected by your manipulations so whatever is white is going to change so the fuzziness also allows us to minimize or maximize the uh, the area so I'm leaving it something like that and pressing OK so now after we've done our selection I would like to create a folder a group so we just press this button it is third uh, from the bin dustbin icon <laughs> so we are creating a group and immediately creating a new uh, layer mask on the layer mask we have our selection right now but i would like to see a bigger picture of what exactly i've selected for that reason i have to press option or alt key and keeping it pressed clicking with my mouse on the layer mask so now i have uh, the picture our selection we have on the screen and we can do the correction so now as i can see in the large image that i still have a lot of area which um, was uh, selected and i'm going to minimize it simply by picking a gradient tool a simple black gradient tool please uh, give your attention to the left uh, corner above so uh, the the settings should be as following opacity 100 and the simple black gradient layer so i'm just dragging just dragging just like that from the corner so basically making uh, this area black and leaving only the face because in my case the face is the problem so similarly from the chest area towards the chin that's I would like to remain as it is so 
something like that. And now I want my image to come back and the similar action should be taken. Option Alt key pressed and click on the layer mask. So now my image is back to normal. <clears throat> and um, the first, I would like to play a little bit with adjustments. So in my case, it will be hue and saturation because it's uh, the face is uh, way more saturated than the body. And creating that layer, I can easily bring the saturation down to match to match the body. And uh, next layer will be curves. And the curves I will just slightly pull it up and brighten brighten the face. So how much you want to brighten it's up to you. Uh, my next layer will be color balance because I feel that I need to introduce a little bit more magenta uh, for the face. So you can see I'm now actually exaggerating. So you can see clearly what I'm planning to do, yeah, what we can do. And you see that only face area is getting affected. Probably a little bit of neck in my case over here, but that is easy to <clears throat> get back to normal I'll show you later. So a little bit of magenta as I said I'm going to introduce just a little bit yeah and let me check if we can go towards blues or maybe yeah it's towards blues maybe just one plus one or yeah plus one will be will be enough for plus two so you can play with cyan or reds until you get the desirable skin tone in my case i didn't attach this too so let us see the result so <clears throat> i'm closing the folder and you can see before and after before and after. If you feel that you overdone something, uh, you can always open the folder, go back to the layer, like for example, curves, double click on the thumbnail and reduce maybe a little bit the brightness or increase or reduce. So I'm just exaggerating it for your understanding, better understanding. So probably have a little bit reduced the brightness. And also if you feel that it's spread it slightly on the neck, you can always go back to um, layer mask, grab the same gradient filter and just pull it the same what we've the same way what we've done before. So we get and we get to shift the area covering more and more of the face. So this is before and after. So as you can see, in no time we can fix the portrait. This is one of the multiple ways how to do the same thing. And um, one of my favorites actually is, <clears throat> let me check the actions, it is luminosity mask. So if you don't have, uh, you have no idea about luminosity mask, um, <clears throat> I'm going to create another video and show you what actually you can do with your portraits using luminosity mask. It's an amazing tool and I would like you to uh, learn about it more. Also, one important tip is uh, if you don't have, if some of you uh, don't have it yet, I recommend to install. It's uh, absolutely free and you can easily download it from the internet. Uh, it's called Easy Panel and basically it's just a bunch of uh, actions for your Photoshop. For example, there is a Dutch and Burn layer, Autumn Colors, blah blah effect, which I've never used, Sharpen for Web. 2048 pixels and it will resize and sharpen your image. So uh, sharpen full size, uh, a few more useful actions and luminosity mask, LMS, 
this is luminosity mask stands bar and um, if you would like to know how to actually create the action on your own the luminosity mask action write uh, down in comments below and i'm going to show you how to create actions on your own uh, i have to warn you though luminosity mask is a uh, quite confusing and uh, quite difficult i would say long process of creating um, the action but it's really worth it uh, worth, worth it so if um, if not then you can just download easy panel and use luminosity mask from there I have the action and in my next tutorial I'm going to show you how we can use this uh, mask. One of the ways I really love is to give instant uh, highlights instead of, you know, using hours and hours using dodge and burn. Sometimes I just use luminosity mask to give highlights to the face or, or, or for example to darken the shadows and there are many many other ways uh, we can use uh, the same action. So <clears throat> thank you for listening and I hope you liked today's tutorials. Um, see you in my next one. Bye bye.